Hey guys, it's Bubble Fun and Sunshine. And today I'm going to be posting a video and we're going to be decorating some phone cases and you can get these for really cheap at like the Dollar Tree or Amazon or something like that. And we have some colorful ones, but it works best with clear ones. And let's get on with this video. So the first one I have is this iPhone 6 case and it's just a nice shiny color rose gold thing and I'm going to write hello beautiful right down here and it's going to be in cursive so let's get on with this. Oh gosh, I'm so scared. I learned cursive, yet it's still like really hard for me. I love lowercase cursive Fs. Oh my gosh, me too. They're so pretty. I like Fs and I kind of like Ls, but you know, I don't really like Js. I don't even know. Oh, like lowercase Js? Yeah. That did not really turn out as beautiful. So I did not like the way the beautiful came out. I think that it's really hard to write cursive in nail polish and stuff because it just kind of blobs so I just took it off with nail polish remover it's really easy and yeah okay so this is sunshine and I'm just gonna be doing like stripes which I know not not super neat stripes because I'm not using tape Strings from the side of Oh man. It, no, that looks really good, actually. Thanks. Like, really good. No, it's a little messy, but it's I don't care. It looks messy. really good. Da. Okay. You should put, like, are you going to put pink in between? Yeah. I'm putting, yeah, I'm going to put pink, like, in there and then there. Okay. There, there, there. I'm still filming. You should just do a little oh, spot like that, that, yeah. like that. That looks good. Alright, so I know it's a little messy, but I kind of intended it to be that way. So, I'm going to be doing an ombre effect, and I need the tape, so I'm going to go get the tape. So, I got the tape, and this is my pink phone case, and I'm just going to be, sorry, that was on a piece of tape, but putting a J on the phone case, and then painting it as an ombre effect, and I think that's going to look really good. 
because then when I when it dries and I peel off the J, J it's gonna look really good. And I know my J is definitely not perfect, but it's like okay. So I have my sponges, and the first you what you should do if you're doing this is you should take all your pinks. This one I am not using. Take all your pinks and you take the one that's darkest and then the one that's second darkest and then um I don't know and then this maybe I don't know maybe we won't use this that one's later on. So we're gonna just be doing these so what you do is you take it and you know this could be a fail, I've never done this before, but I've seen people do it on YouTube before. So you take it and we're just gonna definitely paint a lot of the sponge with this, like that. Well that was not that much, but and then you're just gonna dab it with the pink right up on the top and kind of down a third of the way. And you're definitely gonna want to be keep getting more pink. So I'll show you when I'm done with the this color pink. I finished the pink on this one and I had to actually pour some of this onto here. And now what you're going to do for the next one is you're going to put it right next to it. And I'll just show you. I'm dumping it again. I've like never used this pink before I don't think. Oh my gosh. So what you definitely want to do is put them next to each other and then maybe take like a paper towel or something and just kind of blend them in right next to each other like that. That took a lot of the nail polish off so you just then go like that. And you might have to add more. But then what you're gonna do, I'm gonna add a whole, the color right on it like this. You're gonna keep dabbing it and, um, oops, sorry, that looks, this looks actually pretty good. And definitely, since the colors are next to each other, you're going to put it down like this. Where the colors are next to each other and dab it. And like, really kind of blend them together right there. And doesn't that look pretty good there? So Sorry, I keep changing the angle on you. And then you're going to take the new color and you're just going to put it down till it's on hard enough. So. so, I've done this and this looks pretty good. I mean, it's not like the best, but it looks pretty good. And you're just going to either take a new sponge or the end of your um, same sponge and take your new color. And by the way, I switched colors because the other one would not come out. So this is a very hot pink one. And like I said, put it on either the bottom or like something of the sponge, a new sponge, something like that. And this one is very brand new, so it's going to come out very well. Paint from the, once you get to the bottom, paint from the bottom. Because it we it's going to get harshest um, and like most vibrant at the first time you use it, obviously. So when you do it, definitely take this and go from the bottom. So then it will blend better. And this looks okay. I mean... We're obviously going to put more on, but now when you get to the blend mark, you what you want to do is take this color and take the color you just used and put it right next to your new color. Wrong polish. Take the color that you just used. And again, do the same trick. Take the paper towel, blend it right next to each other. And then go like this. So that they look good and all blended. And then again, make sure this color is harsh enough wood. I actually think it looks pretty good. And then you're done. So we're taking off the letter. Whoa, that actually turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
So I just touched up the spot with this color nail polish where it kind of didn't, it looked very harsh. Alright, so I'm just going to be doing this one like swirly designs. Oh wait, I'm going to do snowflakes. Sorry, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. really pretty. Oops. This is going to be like the snow that's piling up. Alright, so it's sunshine, so my favorite out of all the funds is probably this one because I think that the J turned it really well, or it turned it really good with all the like paint stuff around it. And out of mine, I think I probably like this one just because I think it's like a more interesting design with like, like shiny snowflake, but this one's like cool too, and that one's cool too. I was just. I really like the ombre effect on this one. My favorite, I think, would be this one just because I really like the rose gold color and how sh it's shiny and it just says hello. But I do like this one a lot and my favorite out of mine is this one. Um, out of these two, I, I really kind of like this snowflake one. I think it's, uh, like, this one's pretty and it's, like, very pretty. <laughs> but, um, this one I just like the glittery snowflake and how it's kind of festive. And I could not choose out of all of them my favorite.